Welcome to this video where I will be describing how to change the color of a background in both a 2D and how to do so in 3D. So let's get started. First, I'm going to explain how to change the color of a 2D background. So right now we're in the game mode. So this is what our background looks like, but we can go into the scene and see that this is a 2D space. We can even create a sprite so that we can see and we drag into the scene that's literally just a square even if we look at it in 3D this is essentially our view there's nothing going on here there's really no depth so we're just 2D that's pretty much it so right now this is what we'd see however let's say we don't want this blue background although you don't see it here that's just the default color so right now, if you look, our camera is a solid color and the background color is this shade of blue. So all you have to do is you can change it to, let's say we want a red and there it is. So we can, in game, we see that or we can even play the scene and we see that our scene color is changed. Now in 3D, once you open it up, you see this sky almost in this gray ground. So this is a sky box. You can change that if you want, let's say a nighttime setting or more of a 3D vibe. However, if you want it to be a solid color, again, there's a way to do that too. So right now we're in 3D. We can add a cube quickly to see that. So we get that view scene in game it's 3d however we want to change this background now we can do that by again going to main camera and this time instead of it being a solid color it's gonna be at skybox so all we have to do is actually change the skybox to solid color and then we still get that vibe where we can see our 3d cube so this is still 3d the scene wouldn't change only in the game view changes and we can still get this sense of depth unlike how it was before and then now again we just have to change the color we can do a similar color as before yet we still have this sense of depth in 3d and then you can still again change color to whatever you want Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you have found it useful and can implement this into your own project.